Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day, it's really blue up there, and it's the weekend is upon us, the weekend is upon us, are you, do you have weekend plans, I don't know, this video is going to be not about Scream Awards on the Spike channel, do you guys remember Spike TV, um, anyway, I worked on a, on a project and I got that shirt, um, this is about KFI, are you in the Los Angeles area, you don't have to be in Los Angeles, right now if you wanted to, you could subscribe, boop, 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 boop. or what you can do is you can go onto many of the different um, radio programs nationwide. So right now I could be listening to some, even worldwide. Uh, the other day I, I was uh, I, I was looking for something on um, the internet, and it went to one of the um, like the Sirius FM or the uh, they have the iHeart Media out here, uh, and it was some. Filipino radio station they were talking about uh, China um, and some of the, the shenanigans of those Chinese people uh, Chinese government not people <laughs> the Chinese government there and how they were uh, the wrongdoings but uh, KFI KFI 640 in Los Angeles California I think they, they also have a, uh, they may have I know KNX has an FM station to or an FM, I don't, I don't know, KFI, I don't understand radio that well. I know it's AM and there's FM and they're trying to get rid of AM and we're trying to keep AM in our cars. So AM radio, if you want AM radio, you gotta write something, to call, you can t write to one of the local stations and find out. But this is about the the the, the, the um, uh, KFI, KFI and Mo Kelly, Mr. Mo Kelly. Mr. Mo Kelly. Mo Kelly, are you out there? Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, Mr. Mo Kelly, he likes to do a little of that uh, martial arts stuff. Um, and was in the radio. In the, uh, he, well, he's on the radio now, but he was in the music industry. Very interesting man to me, I find so. I find so. This is all about my experiences with the radio station and my relationship with <laughs> Mo Kelly. We always have a, a relationship. Uh, what is your relationship with uh, M&M's, David? <laughs> I like M&M's. You know, or whatever. Uh, we always have to have a relationship. But um, I got involved with listening to KFI, I think by accident. I used to listen to KNX 1070. I think it was 10, KNX 1070. They used to run those radio shows at night. <laughs> um, the old 1940s. You know, The Flash and uh, the, the Six Shooter and all that. And uh, and, and those radio dramas and the, the sound effects, I really liked it because I think I, I would watch, I listened to it just as a, as a as a entertainment piece. And then when it was over, I think, how do they make all those sounds? It's amazing. Yeah, you know, because they're not chasing a horse with a with a a mic, an MIC, not an MICK. Michael chased that horse, but um, yeah. So they're not doing that. But and they make those they, they show the rubber things and then and then they make all these sound effects with music on top of that so you have music and then you have a, a layer of sound effect with the music how does the we're gonna make the sound of a guy shooting a gun but how does that sound with the piano that's being played in the saloon with the music ambient music that we use in our things so i used to listen to that i think it was on 1070 but they got rid of it so i just flipping around the am dial i had an fm radio too but i didn't really want to listen to music it's nighttime and i think i'm just gonna you know listen to this especially when you're pretty far out sometimes you get an am station you can't get an fm station or whatever so i listened to that so when i found kfi and this is before i think before tim conway came on um and all that I, I, i'm sure they may have been on but i didn't know um and then i guess bill handel that fellow's been around for a long long time uh john and ken have been around for a while um but it, this was quite some time ago i was working for pink dot you delivery uh one of the first the grocery delivery things Modern groceries. At least, you know, Johnny with his bicycle would ride up. Hi, Mrs. Miller. Here's your milk and eggs. And here's your bread. And he'd ride off. <laughs> Hopefully, she'd give him a, a nickel tip. But that's how I got involved with it. KFI. KFI. I, I just was just, I always do this. That's television searching. This is radio searching. <laughs> but I found KFI. And then I listened to them for a while. Then I quit doing that delivery kind of thing. And then I started doing some of the side hustle side hustle I don't know which side but I would do that because the economy was not doing too well um, it was, it was during COVID that's the only job I was allowed to do I was an essential worker and I was allowed to be out there bringing people their food because if I don't bring them a Big Mac right now they're all gonna die of COVID or something I don't know 
but we went all through COVID. So one night I was driving and um, uh, I was listening to the radio and I listened to the uh, Mo Kelly show. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Before Mo Kelly show, even that he was he was substituting for someone in, in the in the filming industry, we might say he was a stand-in or a replacement or a photo double or something. But in the radio, I guess you're just called a substitute. There probably is a name. Mr. Mo Kelly would know that. I don't know that um, the, the name of that because I'm not on radio. I got a face for radio. But anyway, um, he was standing in for somebody. I thought that, that's weird. Where's the other person and then uh he said oh i'm in for this is mr mo kelly or mo kelly and i'm in for whoever uh, and i like his show i thought it was pretty interesting because he has some interesting things it was different than the other stuff that i had listened to before on kfi kfi radio mr mo kelly uh then he started getting his own show on the weekends on the weekends um and i'm not sure the exact timing one time he was talking about kentucky fried chicken now people say, oh no you can't say a black person in kentucky fried chicken yes like, like if i say to a black person and he, he says oh i'm gonna get myself some fried chicken and so oh, i love fried chicken my mom was from north carolina we you know whatever watermelon they'll say uh, if, you, if you don't offer a black person watermelon but what if a black person likes watermelon not all black people are gonna like the same dish to eat what if the black person likes chop suey? Can you say chop suey? That might even be racial now, a, race, a racist thing. Uh, oriental, you're not supposed to say oriental anymore. People say or, ornamental because they're so beautiful. I'm so beautiful, I'm, or, I'm not oriental, I'm ornamental because you know, I'm like an ornament, I'm so pretty, put me on your Christmas tree. But uh, he was talking about K, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and I listened to him enough, it wasn't like the first time I, I heard him talking about anything. And I was working for Grubhub and I and I and I sent him a message on I think it was on Instagram it might have been on Twitter which is now X now, we always say X formerly Twitter now we just say X back then it was Twitter and I wrote hey it's funny I'm at Kentucky Fried Chicken I think we we're talking about value meals or or something and I, I don't think he's talking about being expensive but anyway it's kind of funny that I I just as he's this at the radio because I, I listen to it on my phone and on my car so when I get out of the car I hit the button to say that I've arrived. To pick up the food and boom i i, I click the radio button not the, the thing on my phone and it starts to whatever radio show i was listening to and as i open the door he's like yeah and he's talking about kentucky fried chicken wow weird and um so that's why the first time i ever wrote him then he had another individual on there and i don't know if i can pronounce his name correctly i typed it into the, uh, the there's a little program that tells you how to pronounce a, a word um, and his name is tawala Tawala. They, they, they said his name is either Tawala or Tawala. And then they had some kind of a, uh, I, don't want to say, I don't want to say anything wrong, but they said that perhaps it was an African or, or African origin to that name. And, it's, and I couldn't pronounce it. So I'm going to go with what I hear on the radio. Uh, I have hearing issues because I used to teach shooting at the uh, firing range for you know 17 years or whatever. I have... I have hearing loss. Ooh, I wonder how that happened. But um, Tawala was on there. Tawala, I think his name. And he was in the rest. Uh, he was in the record industry, and he had a, he met with these movie stars and record stars and singing stars and all kinds of good stuff. And he would, I guess, he was the producer of the show. Uh, they're, they're, I know he does produce other. I, I guess he's a producer. It's, it's, it's all it's all weird to me. So he was on there and talking with Mr. Mo Kelly. And Tawala grew up in Pasadena, California. So did I. I think he. I think he went. To, for some reason, I think he went to John Muir, John Muir High School. Now some people say John Muir is close to Altadena. Some people joke about the name of Altadena. They call it Afrodena because there's a lot of African American people that live in parts of Altadena. I used to live in Altadena, and I'm not African American at all. Um, and, uh, but they wouldn't call it Afrodena. Is it prejudice? Is it wrong? Is it silly? I don't even know. Um, but anything is Tawala. Back to the name thing. It's kind of like if you go to a, a, an Asian restaurant or a restaurant from another country, and you say, "Well, what exactly is this on the menu?" And they say, "Oh, there's no word for it in, in, in English." So you think, mm, I, I, maybe I shouldn't eat that because I don't know what it is. But he was from Pasadena, California. He grew up out here. He had similar experiences that I did. Um, uh, in the Pasadena area, he did those jobs that kids can get. So did I. Um, and he went there. I went to Blair High School. I was a Viking. If he did go to 
um, John Muir High School, then he would be a Mustang. If he went to uh, Pasadena High School, he would be a Bulldog. And I can't remember, like, there's a, we also had Marshall High School and a couple other high schools. Uh, I'm older than he is, so I don't know where he went to school. But he has diabetes, and he hadn't even had his surgery. I, I don't know if he had the artificial pancreas or something done uh, sur surgically for his diabetes. I'm diabetic. So I think, wow, this what a small world. A small world. They talk about, he was talking about fried chicken one time. I'm at the fried chicken place. I like fried chicken. Um, Kentucky Fried Chicken is not necessarily my favorite. Um, I used like Pioneer Chicken. I, I, I miss Pioneer Chicken. I went there the other day, just two remaining, but it was not the same recipe. It was not very good. It was, I mean, it, was, it tastes kind of like if I bought it at Ralph's or Albertsons. I drove out of my way knowing that it's going to be kind of close to Pioneer. But KFI, Mo Kelly. Now, every time I say I listen to the Mo Kelly show, people say, oh, I hate Mo. No, Mo. Um, no way, Mo. If, if, if you write on, if you look at the KFI, um, groups from Facebook it's in and it mentions Mo Kelly then you know people say I'd rather do this but I don't think you would uh, I don't I, I don't think that's true yeah you know, I'd rather take uh, knitting needles and shove it through my ear holes I, I don't think that's true I'd rather you know gargle razor blades uh, I'd rather <laughs> it's not true I'd rather stick my head in a vat of Drano and no it's not true you would not rather do any of those things. No, no, no. So somebody say, no, Mo, no, Mo, no, Mo, you know, no, not and Mo, not Mo as in more, but no, Mo. I want no, Mo. Um, and they say a lot of very, very, very mean things about Mo Kelly. Some people like him. They do like him. Uh, his show is different than others. He does that nerdorama thing where he talks about movies. He talks about some about martial arts, his experience. I, I think I remember when I first was hearing him not first year, but recently that he never really misses a day or he doesn't, he always comes to work where I guess never has a, like, it, 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 it was just a scheduled vacation. He never like calls out or whatever. He always is there. But recently he's been gone sometimes. So there's other people. Now when I became acquainted with the Mo Kelly show, he was substituting for someone. And now I'm acquainted with other people that substitute for his show, but I always do miss the Mo Kelly show. Mo Kelly, Mo Kelly. Later with Mo Kelly is what the show is. Later with Mo Kelly. Um, uh, what an honor it would be uh, to be on his show uh, as a guest. I'm sure the, those guests, and he gets some really big guests on that show, some musical icons, you know, uh, and he talks about his experience with music. He's talking about now the, the P. Diddy situation, which is very unfortunate. If, if, if he, It'd be very unfortunate if he's not guilty and he's being uh, treated as if he is, I guess. Uh, but th if you're in jail that long um, and he hasn't been released yet and they won't let him go out, probably there's something there right where there's smoke there's fire um so i don't know um about that but he has talked about his experience and i think towala has as well how do you pronounce that name mr mo kelly how is the proper pronunciation you know they always say like the name kamala people mispronounce kamala now i've known someone named kamala since i was about four years old and her name is kamala her brother's name is steve and i was friends with steve she was a little sister. She was friends with my sisters. Her name is Kamala. So when the when Kamala Harris, when she was uh, running for president, and she got eliminated pretty early when she was running for president um, back in 2020, I knew how to pronounce her name. I, unless she has a different pronunciation. My name is David, but maybe I call, call my name the Maybe not. Who knows? But on his show, he covers things that others don't cover. But each radio personality or each radio broadcaster should have a different kind of show. You know, if it's always the same thing, boop, boop, I would do that, boop, boop. If it's always the same thing, wouldn't that get kind of boring? 24 hours of the same thing. Even the news stations, when it's kind of slow, they'll break in, of course, break it, breaking news coming in. But they used to cover cooking shows. I can't remember her name. But she always likes that all the home place and she would be on there talking about that um the stage would talk about uh they have a religious program kind of like when you watch wkrp in cincinnati you have les nesman with the news and you have uh dr johnny fever and then you have venus fly trap they all had a different they, they, they played music and they're all different but then you had you know the news station and you had the religious portion uh, on Sundays or whatever and they all do a different kind of show a different kind of show but if Mo Kelly was to stand in for or substitute for like Tim Conway they say Mo's in for Tim I guess I know I guess what I know I'm gonna do at four o'clock turn off the radio or something uh they just are very very negative to him and I don't know why I don't know why uh, so his 
a lot of people got mad about the changing of format because remember Mo Keller was only there on the weekends and he got a full they, they said the reason they changed the format was for diversity and they had to give Mo Kelly a five day a week show versus just a weekend show and then they also have Tawala now he has a weekend show so we have seven days of African Americans ah what are we gonna do here comes the African Americans there goes the neighborhood or the radio hood or whatever or in the hood boys in the hood I don't know but they are very very against this Mo Kelly fella and I don't know why what are your feelings on Mo Kelly I don't know but uh, he'll talk about he'll talk about uh, martial arts. He'll talk about uh, uh, this, uh, other things involving. Now he also is very good about helping others. Him and I both did the Movember thing. You're supposed to grow a mustache whoop, in the month of November. They changed the name of November to Movember. My birthday's in November, so don't keep that in mind. Next month, my birthday. If you want to send me a Christmas present, I mean a birthday present. Whoop, 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 I'll put the address right there. Send me a send me a card. I'm not talking about sending anything expensive, but if you want to send a a, a greeting card in the mail, I'll get it. Um, but he, he did that, and I, I wrote him and said, "Are you going to go to the golf tournament?" And I think he said he doesn't golf. I, I don't golf well. I've golfed a couple of times, not good. I like to go to the putting green, and I like to go to the, the driving range. Uh, so I like to do those kind of things, but I can't really put the whole game together. Sometimes I'll be like, "Whack!" and I whack that ball, and it goes so far, and I can't believe it. And other times. At the driving range, I whack the ball and it goes up in the air and it spins, it hits me in the forehead, almost knocks me out, or I hit myself in the mouth with the club or something. I'm not good. But he said he's not going to go there. But we both try to raise money for that charity. I raised, boop, I think I raised like $30. <laughs> but $30, if a million people do it, that's $30 million. I always kind of think of that when I feel badly that I did not raise enough money. But he was doing that. So I personally like his show. Um, do I like everything he talks about? No, it wouldn't be good. It would not be good talk radio if I listened to it. And I, and I, and if I listened to it, and I agreed with everything. You know, I might as well just you know uh, have my brain making thoughts come out. You know, I see a squirrel. But um, yeah, so he 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 does that, and it may not be exactly what I want. And some people told me they don't like him because he's a woke snowflake he's a woke snowflake he's a woke and he's a snowflake but what about bill handel i used to only listen to bill handel on his his um uh show about marginal legal advice on the weekend because it's pretty funny and, and i knew that there i knew it wasn't live i'm driving around i know they're not having these phone calls coming in live right now i know something had to be pre-recorded because you know, they got to screen it they can't just have an open phone line and and then and he also has his legal uh you can actually go there if you want to hire an attorney um, and then they also had some live events where they would be out there with other attorneys. But he is very, 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 very uh, anti-Trump. Uh, I'm talking about Bill Handel. But there's one thing about Bill Handel that Mo Kelly doesn't have, and that's white skin. Is it possible, just putting it out there, that some people that don't like Mr. Mo Kelly, or maybe Tawala as well, I don't know, maybe they don't like them because they are... I don't know what he identifies as, African-American, black, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, my friend who is older than me, he, I was born in 1961. Ooh, I know I look like I was born, I don't know, in 1981. But he was born in 19, I was born in 1961, he was born in, I think, 1947. So, you know, what is he, 14 years old, I am. But he said that he is a black man, my friend. Not, he's black. He, he says, we both say, when we talk to each other, oh, it's a, he's black, or, or, or he's white. You know, when we, when we talk, we're both veterans and we, we're dumb. But this is black, and this is white. And it could be the opposite way, you know, this is white, and then you cover the face to make it black. But um, he it says he's a black man. He's not African American, he's not Negro, he's not colored, and he's not any of the other words that are even worse than that. But when he was a little boy, he was a Negro or colored, Negro or colored. So I don't know what, he, what Mr. Mo Kelly identifies as racially. It doesn't really matter. But is it possible that since they like, people like Bill Handel, very, very liberal, he loves, I guess he loves Kamala, I don't know. He loves Biden. Uh, I, I listen to the show and I'm saying, this guy's a, a lawyer and he, that's really stupid. So sometimes I do right there and I'm not being mean to Bill Handel I'm a white guy he's a white guy uh, if he likes to eat I don't know what white people eat um, like grilled cheese sandwiches I don't know what he eats but whatever it is about <clears throat> Bill Handel very liberal 
very people might say woke snowflake butterfly whatever you want to call him but he is that and then but mr kelly they're saying that he is this but i don't see him discussing things politically where it's always to the this is my left but you'll see the opposite way i think to my left <laughs> he's not always to the left or and i don't see john was name colbell or with john king i don't see them always to the right and that might be opposite i don't know but the, uh, the 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 john show was john and ken uh now uh it's just john but is it is his show you know uh maga is it republican is it tr pro trump I, I don't know i don't know he doesn't like gascon gascon where his name is gascon I, but i don't either you know i i think crime is up i like the stories look at mr mo kelly if he was really that uh that woke or whatever he wouldn't be saying bad things about metro he talks about metro about how dangerous metro is and it is dangerous he talks he gives good advice don't don't go get gas and at night at the gas station i mean if you break down the side of the road i guess you have to but plan out your trip so you can gas up during daylight because people might approach your car and you know there's a camera but there's cameras well yeah the camera catches the crime the camera doesn't necessarily stop the crime but he was talking about Metro. Now, if he was pro, so so woke, wouldn't he be siding with Mayor Bass? I'm not. In, I don't live in Los Angeles. Wouldn't he be siding with her and saying, "Hey, there's no danger, folks. Come on, come on, get on the bus, get on the bus, get on the train, get on the train. It's safe. It's great. It's a, we're all should take this, and let's don't ever not take it." And blah 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 blah. But could it be racism? If you don't like Mo Kelly, why don't you like? Mo Kelly. If you don't like Mo Kelly's show, why don't you like the Mo Kelly show? What is it? What is it? And I, I wrote him before about this, and I said, you know, I, I just think this is maybe racism, because his show, although different than other people's shows, that means their the, the other people's shows are different than his show. His show is different than theirs. Their show is different than his. Why is it that they focus on this one guy? One guy. I, I listened. I was listening to um, uh, uh, Gary and Shannon. And they were talking this, uh, this nonsense, nonsense. And uh, you know, I just said, okay, and you know, they turn off. Things I don't like a lot of times. A lot of times they'll be covered on radio. They'll talk about guns. You can say the word gun. You don't have to say pew pew, and you don't have to call the police the po po. You can actually say the word gun. You'll say, uh, you'll say, and you can you can say the word. Uh, sadly, rape. When they're talking about the P Diddy, they'll say they'll leave out the word. Or they'll say S.A. sexual assault. They'll say S.A. They won't say sexual assault. They say S.A. Now, if when they talk about the N word, the N word, do people really call someone else the N word? Hey, you're hey N word, N word. No, they say that word, and that's a word you should not say. You shouldn't say that word. That's a bad word. But when it comes to all of this, um, you know, I just don't know what 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 is going on with that. You know, every time I post something, a pause about Mo Kelly, they come back with this, this negativity um, and he, he's he's talked about helping people he's talked about uh, he gives you tips on this he talks about movies he talks about the things that he knows that he understands that he has a, a big um, a big uh, knowledge bank a big a, a, his his knowledge is, is vast he does talk about politics he'll tell you about when he's been on this show or that show he's been on I think he's on Fox News and I saw him on TV a couple of times I didn't know hey there's Mo Kelly um, so he's actually doing it that much I don't really need to announce I would actually be watching television there he goes there's Mo Kelly talking about whatever it is so I find his show to be enjoyable I find his show to be um, truthful I, I don't necessarily see him being uh, is he a Democrat I don't know uh, if he is a Democrat, is he a progressive Democrat? They used to just be, you know, you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, and and that would be, I'm sure there'd be some kind of a, uh, this is more, this is less, or whatever. But we didn't have to talk about this all the time, so I just decided to finally just put this out because some, someone was talking negative about Mo Kelly when he was gone to his martial arts tournament, um, uh, or maybe on a cruise. I think it's martial arts. People said, "I hope he doesn't come back." Blah blah blah. You know, uh, you always know that at, right at seven o'clock, time to turn off that radio because he comes on at seven after Tim Conway. And the people say, "Well, he—it's a diversity thing. Uh, KFI is losing all this money." Mm, no, that's probably not true. If KFI is losing a lot of money, yeah, Mo's gonna go. 
Bo, you got to go. Hey, Bo, you ain't making no money for us. You got to go. He's got advertising coming in that he uh, that I hear him doing. Uh, he talks about other sh other shows that he does and people brings in an another audience. I'm sure when people see him speaking on with CNN or Fox or Newsmax, whatever he, he does, they're going to search that man, that broadcaster, that, uh, that panelist, that expert, and they're going to go to KFI. So he obviously is making money for KFI. He's on from 7 to 10, five days a week. They're not going to have 7 to 10 dead air making no money. That's not the way this works. You can, They can love you. They can say, Mr. Killer, we love you. You're the greatest guy in the world. You're our buddy. You know, let's let's do some martial arts together. Uh, let's spar. Um, I'm gonna do a roundhouse, and I'm gonna try. And you're gonna block, and block, and we're gonna set up the scene like we're in a Billy, uh, uh, you know, whatever, whoever, <laughs> uh, 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 martial artist um, uh, movie. Uh, uh, we're gonna do that, and but your show doesn't make any money, so you're gone. It's a it's business. It's business. It's business. So he's obviously making money. He obviously has an audience. But some people say very negative things about Mr. Mo Kelly and the later with Mr. Mo Kelly show or later with Mo Kelly. So I'm going to sign off now. What are your thoughts? Put it down there, right down there in the uh, comment section. What are your thoughts? Do you like Mo Kelly? Do you dislike Mo Kelly? Do you love Mo Kelly? Do you hate Mo Kelly? Do you want Mo Kelly gone? Do you want more Mo Kelly? Should he have a longer show? Uh, should he do some more special events with the station he did that Movember thing Whoop, grow a mustache uh, and I and I find it to be enjoyable I like Tawala I like I like that show on the weekends I, I think it's called like SoCal something uh, or Soul Cal maybe I don't know is it Soul Train or Soul Cal or So Cal I don't know but he talks about different things and they also give a shout out I like this too um, they would do that one for Mother's Day or Father's Day I think it was uh, they do that uh, sometimes the stories are pretty sad I turn it off uh, Wendy, the Wendy lady, the doctor, I turned that off too because sometimes it's a little too sad for me. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a snowflake. <laughs> I'm not really a snowflake. But, you know, sometimes you just don't want to hear something sad. No, I, I don't really turn it off. I listen to it. But he does that. They shout out local small business. And if you have a small business and you're struggling right now, it's tough. Some people say it's Bidenomics. Bidenomics. Uh, maybe it's going to be Harris's whatever or Trump's new economy. Uh, it looks like Trump's going to win. I, 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 going to say that. I do believe Trump will win in November. Mr. Mo Kelly, what do you think? I don't know. Uh, Tawala, what do you think? Uh, 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 Tim Conway did say he thought it would be, be Trump. Uh, dogs barking, not my dog. Oh, and also, Mo Kelly talks about dogs. I love dogs. But, uh, yeah, he did. He does the thing where they shout out these small businesses and now Tawala does that too and they have like some kind of spin the wheel and he, I don't know if they really have a wheel. They're to go tick, 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 the noise like 60 minutes. I don't really think the big clock in the middle of the studio is 60 minutes. But they pick a local business. They talk about multiple local businesses and they focus and they showcase one local business for free. And that's very, very valuable and, and, and that's a good thing. And then I say, we're only going to do black owned businesses no they do all but they did that there's an asian one there was a uh some i can't remember there was some kind of asian cooking one there was a uh a dojo that was an asian lady an asian man had and there was a dance studio i don't know if she was well, she sounds like she was she sound i don't know it sounds precious she sounded to me like she was a white lady um and her name was kind of a plain jane there's a name jane my name is real plain david gardner but um yeah they do that they help out so i think he's helpful i think he's entertaining I don't think it, I don't like everything he says, uh, and I'm I'm willing to listen to that. Um, I'm a white guy. Uh, there are some people that are not white guys that I don't really listen. I don't listen to Al Sharpton. No, I don't listen to Al Sharpton. Um, uh, Jesse Jackson. Now I think he had a stroke or Parkinson's, and he doesn't really speak anymore. He's like kind of nonverbal. I don't really listen to that. I was listening to they were talking about Jim Crow and the White Devil or something, and they said that's the way it is now. And 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 I know enough African American black people, what they don't want to be called, that I've grown up with. I went to school in Pasadena, California. I went to a church that was a, that was an um, integrated church. I've had a lot of black friends. A lot of people say, my best friend is black. I go, oh yeah, what's his name? Huh? What's his name, your best friend? What do you mean? Well, you just told me your best friend is black. He has a name, right? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 John Smith. Oh, 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 oh the old John Smith. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I don't really think that, I don't personally think that that's true. There's a lot of people saying that we're worse off now than we were prior to 1960. They always use 1960 as a civil rights. Are we worse off now? I don't think so. I don't think we are. I really don't think we are. But Mo Kelly, what are your thoughts on Mo Kelly? Don't forget to subscribe down there. Uh, like, 
share. And if you put some comments, I, I, I keep telling people, comments, I just learned this myself. So don't feel ignorant. Don't feel dumb. Don't, here's ignorant, here's dumb. But I didn't realize how important comments are. So if you want to comment, please do. Let me know what do you think. Do you watch Mo Kelly show? Or do you listen to Mo Kelly show? Do you, does he have a podcast? I don't know if he has a podcast. I know John has his podcast. He goes on from uh, one until four. And then right at four, he starts his podcast is now open of that show and Tim Conway always gets mad because that's his show he always hey wait a minute that's my show time I'm on from 4 to 7 and you're telling people if you missed anything on my show go listen at 4 but if you can listen at any time of a podcast you can listen at 1 in the morning I guess but does Mo Kelly have a podcast I don't know it'd be, be interested it'd be interesting to look at that so Mr. Mo Kelly show do you like it later with Mo Kelly from 7 to 10 on KFI is where I listen to it Maybe you're listening to it somewhere else. But what do you think? Mo Kelly, is he a, is he a racist? Is he woke? Is he liberal? Is he a progressive? If his show comes on, do you turn it off? What are your thoughts? Do you, do you like him? Do you think he's not? I mean, I don't know. Today, I don't know his political affiliation. I don't care. You know, if I like his show, I like his show. Take care. I don't care what color he is either. I don't care. I just don't care. Do you care? I don't know. Bye.